Okay, the alkenes. Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons because they only contain hydrogen and carbon atoms. Unsaturated because they contain at least one carbon to carbon double bond. It's not enough to say they, they contain a double bond, you must say it's a carbon to carbon double bond. What is a double bond? It contains two parts, a sigma bond and a pi bond. Sigma bonds are like all the single bonds you've seen be before. A pi bond is an extra bond on top of that. A pi bond is not the same strength as a single, sigma bond, it's much weaker. So a double bond is not twice the strength of a single bond, it's a single bond with a bit extra. So what are these sigma bonds then? Sigma bonds are direct overlap of orbitals. So here we've got a molecule of ethene. It has sigma bonds from the carbon to all the hydrogens. And that's it, just sigma bonds. Like I said, single bonds. And then between the carbons, you have a sigma bond, where you have direct overlap. And then you've got these p orbitals here. Now p orbitals, you remember like the figure of eight, they're above and below the plane of the carbons. Okay, above and below the carbons. And they can overlap sideways. They're not directly overlapping, so that's why a pi bond is not as strong. It's not a direct overlap, it's a sort of sideways overlap. But it's on top of a sigma bond. So there's already a sigma bond there, and then we've got these p orbitals overlapping sideways, and when they overlap, it makes what we call a pi bond. Okay? So p orbitals overlap sideways above and below the carbons to form pi bond. So a double bond, remember, is a sigma and a pi bond. So, what sort of shape does this make alkenes have? Remember, to be an alkene, you only need one carbon to carbon double bond. So, there it is. And if you look, it's basically three. If you treat the double bond as, as like, just like one bonding pair, it's basically three bonding pairs, zero lone pairs. So, they've got 120 degrees there, which is trigonal planar. And that, but that's only around the carbons in the double bond. The ones that aren't actually in the double bond, like this carbon here, will just be like an alkane, and that means that they'll be tetrahedral 109.5. This particular one is propene because it's got three carbons. Okay, so how do we look at them and name them? So, same as before the alkanes, the, the stem tells you how many carbons there are in the main chain. And in fact, there are alkenes, you put E and E on the end. So the simplest one you can get is ethene, here it is. When you write it structurally, you might write it like this, CH2, CH2. You know there's a double bond there because of the lack of hydrogens. Okay, Every carbon makes four bonds. So here, if it's only bonded to two hydrogens and one carbon, they're all single bonds, it'd only be three bonds. So there must be a double bond between them. Here we've got propene. Okay, you can see these two must be the double bond, and that one isn't because of the number of hydrogens it's got. And then we've got butene and butene. These are structural isomers of each other because the double bond can be in different places. Here it's in position 1, between carbon 1 and 2, so that's why it gets the 1. Here it's between 2 and 3, so that's why you get the 2. You just put in the lower number of the two carbons it's in between. And you can tell where the double bond is again by looking at where there's a lack of hydrogen. It shows you where the double bond must be. So, let's have a look at pentwine. So all these here on this page have the molecular formula C5H10. They've got different structures, so pent-1-ene, pent So you see we move a double bond. Alkenes can be branched as well, so you've got to say where the branch is. So this is on carbon 2, if we count from this end, 1, 2, 2 methyl but one -ene. Here, 2 methyl but so if we count from this end, 1, 2, 3. So the double bonds between carbons 2 and 3, that's why it's 2 -ene. Methyl's on position two as well. Here, three methyl but one -ene. So the the alkene double bond is taking priority when it comes to the um, the naming. The reason for that is because the alkene is a functional group. It, it controls the chemical properties of the alkene, so it takes priority there. So you've got but one -ene. One, two, three, four. That's why it's but. Double bonds between carbon one and two, so it's one ene. And then one, two, three methyl group on carbon three. If we want to say 2 methyl because you're using two numbering systems at the same time for the same molecule, and that doesn't work. Also, a structural isomer of alkenes is the cyclo version, but it's a cyclopentane because there's no double bond in there. So it's 5 carbons, 10 hydrogens.
Okay, it's not an alkene, but it is a structural isomer of these. Things that are not structural isomers are these ones, cyclopentene. Okay, this only has eight hydrogens, two, four, six, and then one there, one there. So eight hydrogens. Okay, so it's not got the same molecular formula. Also, this one here, I think. Mean, like two methyl groups coming off here and a double bond there. That carbon would have then would have to have five bonds for that to be possible. And that's not possible. You can't have five bonds to a carbon like that. So that wouldn't be one either. 